Man United's preseason has officially kicked off. Eric Ten Hag has held his first press conference out in Thailand. And in this video, in a nice short, snappy 10 minute video, I'm going to summarize for you everything that Eric Ten Hag talked about out in that first press conference from Cristiano Ronaldo, which dominated the press conference. What was it like 80% of the questions asked were about Ronaldo, even if he didn't want to give any answers? I'll run through all of that. I'm going to speak about Harry Maguire and the captaincy. I'm going to speak about he was questioned on Frankie de Jong, new signings. Harold Malasia, his plans, Martial, Rashford. I'm going to cover it all for you in this video. So make sure you drop a like on it. If you do enjoy this one, I'm going to make it short and snappy. I know you haven't got any time to waste, but let me run through Eric Ten Hag's first press conference out in Thailand as Manchester United's manager. And the first question he was asked was quite a square question, really, uh, from the Thai press, asking about the Liverpool game and whether or not it was a, it was a good way to get started. So yes, playing against Liverpool is always exciting. United Liverpool is a big game and it's a really good test for us. It was a proper beige question that was asked by the Thai press, which didn't really give us any insight. And then as soon as it went to the UK press, I have to say this before I run into it. 80% of the questions were about Cristiano Ronaldo. Simon Stone from the BBC began and then it went to Samuel Luckhurst and then Neil Custis chirped in. Ch chirped in? Chirped in. Um, and then James Ducker actually mentioned it as well. It was, it was a tag on. They all asked pretty much the same question. And I'll be honest, it's it's that exact reason why I want this Ronaldo situation to be resolved. Before I run into his answers, it's exactly why I need this I want and need this situation to be resolved as quickly as possible. It's gonna be a massive distraction for Eric Ten Hag, this whole Ronaldo situation. But this was his answer when asked about Ronaldo. He said he, he's not with us. Duh. That's due to personal issues. We are planning with Ronaldo for this season. That is it. I'm looking forward to working with him. And when he was asked again about Ronaldo, he said, look, I spoke to him before this issue came up and we really had a good talk. So going back to this first point here, he's just reiterating what we already knew. Ronaldo's not with us, as if you didn't know that. Personal issues, but he's planning with Ronaldo next season. I don't know what you want to uh, sort of infer from that, but Ten Hag, what you can clearly see straight away there, he's not somebody who can be asked with the press, really. He seems smart enough and logical enough to know that eh, you, if you're going to try and get a headline out of me, you're probably not going to succeed. I'll say a very square and direct answer, and I'll stop it like that. Very, Isn't it amazing how you go through all these different managers and you see how their different personalities massively come across in how they present themselves in the press conferences? And with Ten Hag, he's, he can come across as closed off, but he, he's just somebody who doesn't want to give anything to the press. Look, he goes, you know, that's it. I'm, I'm planning. I'm looking forward to working with him. That's what he really can say. Because we don't know what's going on with Ronaldo. And I don't really think that Eric Ten Hag really knows what's going on with Ronaldo. I want it to be resolved as quickly as possible because it's not good. And the idea there, I think this is probably the most interesting update that there was there on Ronaldo. He still hasn't talked to him. Now, what's your reaction to that? You can let me know in the comments below. But you would have thought that, I suppose, at, at some point, Eric Ten Hag would have had a conversation with Ronaldo saying, well, what's going on, man? Now, what are the person... You can speak to me. I'm your manager. What are the personal issues? I'd like to know. I'd like to help if I can and to understand what's going on. But the fact that he, isn't, he hasn't spoken to him, I think is quite an interesting angle on this one. That's probably what they were pushing for. I think it was Laurie Whitwell who asked for that. And I thought that's probably the most interesting angle on this. That we know that Ten Hag hasn't spoken to Ronaldo. I'm surprised about that. I'm a little bit surprised. But speaking of surprises, I suppose this... Depends what angle you're coming from. Eric Ten Hag here has confirmed that Harry Maguire will be staying on as captain for Manchester United. I have to get to know all the players, but he's an established captain and he's achieved a lot of success. Maybe with England, but not particularly with Manchester United. You know what I've said about Harry Maguire last year. I didn't hold back on him. I said I was done with him as Manchester United captain. I thought he, if we're talking about standards for me as a fan, he fell well, 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 well short of that and repeated and repeated mistakes. And it only got worse in how he presented himself to the press and said, look, you know, multiple managers have kept me on. I must be doing something right. And it's just like a lack of severe lack of awareness really made me personally lose my patience with Harry Maguire. But Eric Ten Hag is keeping him on as captain. Now, I think the first thing to understand about that is he's only seen him for a week. He's only seen all the players for two weeks. But in terms of deciding a new captain, I don't think Ten Hag's had enough time to do that. And I don't think Ten Hag will know properly about that until he's got all his signings in and until the season has started. 
I think it probably would have been less damaging to maybe just remove because I thought I thought it was an easy it was an easy conversation really for Eric Ten Hag to have with him. He goes, look, I'm not taking the captain away from you because of what you did last season. I'm taking the captain away because I want a new captain. I I want to know it might be you, it may well be you, but I need to know exactly who I can trust as captain. I think that would have been an easier conversation to have at this at this point because if he now removes it further down the line, slightly more awkward. But Harry Maguire is staying on as captain. You can let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure I know the answers to that already. I'm not going to continue. I don't need to say anything else on Maguire. I've already said everything I need to say last season. Prove me wrong, Harry. Make me look like a dick with my videos. Fine. But Eric Ten Hag is keeping him on as captain. I think that's quite an interesting talking point. Now, let's move on to the new signings, which I'm sure you would have been waiting for. What I'm doing is running through the press conference as it happens, rather than just picking out and cherry-picking the main points. By the way, I want to say here quickly before I do say this, uh, shout-out to Flex, uh, who's there, obviously represents an United view. Genuinely thought that the question he asked on Martial and Rashford and their positions and, and whether or not that's going to affect um, pre-season plans and, and where do you think you're going to get the best out? I, think, I thought it was a question, if Ten Hag had given a bit more of an insightful answer, was the best question. So fair play to Flex. And, and I'm saying that as well at the time where 90% of the journalists just all asked about Ronaldo because it's the big story. It's the big headline. That's what they want rather than insight. It's a big problem with the media. So fair play. And I think that will help hopefully having questions like that from fan channels because they should be represented because we just want insight into the club. We don't just want the headlines. We want to know what's going on at our club. That's more important to us. Look, let's move on to the new signings. He was asked about Frankie de Jong. He was asked about everything. And this is what he had to say. He said, we, have to, we want to have the right players. We have a really good squad. And we're working on developing our way of play. And if the opportunity is there, we will strike. Now, Eric Ten Hag was sort of like, he was pushed further about Frankie de Jong. And he said, look, you know, the standard responses that you would expect from Ten Hag and basically any other manager. Then I never talk about players who are not under contract at Manchester United. Players at different clubs. I cannot tell you anything about this issue. And that was when he was put, I believe, by Laurie Whitwell. He was pushed on the Frankie de Jong situation. He's like, I'm not speaking about him. I'm not speaking about de Jong. And that can come as no surprise. But he's saying there clearly, we will strike. When, we, when the right signings can be made, we will strike. And I found this point, it, this is probably the most interesting point, I believe, really, he made around transfers. He said, we are definitely searching for the midfield and players in offence. And no mention of defence there. Now, that probably means one of two things. Number one, he thinks the defence is sorted because we're going to get Lissandro Martinez. That's done and dusted, right? So, so what's the point in sort of talking about signing any, any other defenders? Midfield, he's always reiterated from day one. I think he said it in his first press conference that he wants to sign midfielders. And players in offence. And we know that. Oh, I don't think that's going to be Anthony. Because this Martinez situation has showed that Ajax are taking, they've changed, they're taking a different approach with these two transfers, I think. Overinflated prices. We've offered 50 for Martinez and now they want 60. If we Even if we went in for 80 for, uh, for Anthony, they'd probably try and get 90. They're squeezing it and squeezing it. But we are in the market for attackers. And that's even before this Cristiano Ronaldo situation came around. So depending on what happens there, maybe we're going to be in for two. I don't know what's going on there, but Ten Hag making it clear that Look, he's got a good squad. And I've said this as well. We do have a good squad. And I think Ten Hag will make that good squad a better squad by his coaching methods and his style. But we do want new signings. He wants new signings. Won't talk about De Jong. But it's all about players he's looking in midfield and in defence. And this bit, I like this comment here. It's the profile of the modern fullback. That's what Tyrell Malasia is. Defending good and tough to beat in offence. That's really good. That's why we signed him. And it's all about signing players for in the profile. He obviously wants new signings. He obviously won't speak about De Jong. But we're in for De Jong. We know we're in for De Jong. We know we're in for midfielders. We know we're in for an attacker. We don't know which one yet. And we know we're in for Lissandro Martinez. As I said, that, that was probably the most interesting snippet there. The angle, the fact that he didn't mention defenders. Either means that we're not in for one, which we know we are because we're in for Martinez. Or he's just got real confidence. There's no point talking about defenders. We're going to get Martinez. But that's the majority of the press conference covered. If you're looking for the... Probably the biggest talking point from that press conference is the fact that he's decided to keep Harry Maguire as captain, which I think is a bit, well, of a surprise-ish. But at the same time, he's decided, I don't know. I, I feel like it's very early to say that. He won't know from his own 
record from his own eyes whether Maguire is the right captain or not yet so far. I'm sure he's been seeing good stuff in training. But you know what I've said about Maguire last season? I'm, I've, I've sort of like, I was done with him. I personally was done with him. Certainly as captain, for sure. But look, that's Ten Hag's press conference covered in full in 10 minutes for you. Don't say I don't treat you well here on United People's TV. Short, snappy, concise. Hopefully that told you everything you needed to know from the press conference. And no doubt I'll cover the game in full tomorrow as well with a match reaction or here on United People's TV. So make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new because I'm going to try and cover the preseason in as much detail as I possibly can. Take it easy.